how to do it, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna spend my whole life, my whole life trying to figure it out. Seven pounds, nine ounces, your champion is Jacob Wheeler. Your 2012 Forest Wood Cup champion, Jacob Wheeler. He is the youngest BFL All-American champion ever. The youngest Sportsbook Cup champion in history. It, it means the world. It is the biggest thing that's ever happened in my life. He won the second stop at Table Rock. Wow! Unbelievable! Jacob Wheeler makes history! The run continues for Wheeler. All right. So, welcome, welcome y'all. This is practice vlog for Redcrest. Redcrest, $300,000 our championship for the season. And of course, where are we gonna start this trip? You got it, right there at Academy. Gotta stack up on some goodies. Um, got a few things to, do, to grab. This is the thing, Grand Lake this week should be very interesting. Grand Lake is not a numbers fishery. You don't catch a ton of bass. You catch good ones though. A lot of three to five pounders in the lake. I don't think it's gonna be a deal where you're gonna catch 100 bass. You need to keep your head down. Probably 10 bass is gonna be a good day. But first off, gotta slide in here and uh, see what they have. I got a couple things I need to grab um, and see if they have a couple different things. And I might get some different ideas from walking through the fish Nile. It's always something I like to do. So, let's ride. Alright, so I had to pick up a few different things, a couple vibrating jigs, spinner baits. I got quite a few spinner baits, but you always gotta pick up a few more. And then um and I had to pick up actually I, I left my belt at the house. Left multiple belts at the house. So had to make sure to grab a belt real quick here, grab a Magellan belt, call it good. Hit back on the road. We are right around the Missouri area right now, but we got about five hours of driving before we, we see what's ultimately uh I don't know exactly. Actually, Dustin booked this, so Guys, Dustin booked the spot, so we're gonna find out what we got. Wanna we'll find out? You guys over there in, uh, was it Alabama with Smith? Yeah. He's always nice. black. Okay. No, that's all they got. Is that no spring water out here? Oh, in Tulsa. There ain't nothing. No yeah, spring water. No hey, I always get, I get all the time, right? You always I always get, get purified. purified. I'm always like, you get spring water. I know. But hey, look, look, we got, look, man, we're eating good. We got all our fruit. Yeah. We got our bananas. Hey, you, you ordered Jimmy Ding? I didn't, yeah. You did I, I, I need it over 90. Yeah, I over 90. So I told Jacob, I said, hey, you know what we got to do? First day of the tournament, we're going to strap Jimmy Ding to DC's trolling motor and see what happens. Zip tied to his power cord. We got to do something. We gotta do something, but we're not gonna tell him. We're not gonna tell him. So we gotta overnight. <laughs> oh, dude. He'll throw that cigar on hey. the dock. Oh, 100%. He's staying at the house. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have hey, one. Hey, he, he, might, he might throw him in the, uh, what's his face's boat? <laughs> what's his name? Staying next to us? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you see the damn air mask is ready. It says dead end. Residents and guests only no trespass. Okay, this is a Howie's land. Alright, we're alright. Checking him out. We'll find out. Gravel road. Doesn't look bad. Alright, so we officially made it. Stopped at Walmart real quick and got uh, a couple different things. I think Adrian grabbed some brats for, for dinner one night and then we got some hamburgers. But this is the spot right here. DC did pretty solid. This is the thing. We're gonna check this place out. We're gonna see what we got for the week. Toughest thing. Adrian's just chilling out. And right here, okay, we got a nice little TV. Of course, nice, perfect little spot. That's a really cool name phrase. Dude, look at it. That's actually a really cool phrase. I'm not gonna lie. That is actually really cool. It, hey, you know what I'm talking about that? What? Is that's the only fridge you literally spend about $150 on groceries and it's full. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, the hey, oh my gosh. We're, gonna, we're not gonna be able to fit our groceries in this place. We got one bedroom here, one bedroom here, and bathroom. Wait a second, where, where, where's the third bedroom? Third bedroom? Ain't no god. There's no third bedroom. Uh uh. Hold up, we got, we got, we got, listen, five count, guys. count, count this up. Five guys, DC, five. How many bedrooms do we have? Two. Hey, hey, we shacking up, boy. So, 
I'm gonna sleep right there. Adrian will sleep right here. And then Brody and Brett will share that room. And DC, of course, like he always does, will take the king or the, ma the, dang, the, the, master. the dang master. He, all, hey, he hey, has DC, to have his own bathroom. Hey, DC needs his own bathroom, guys. Literally, he does. He, needs his own he literally does. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he takes like 40 minutes every morning. Every morning. Every morning. He's, he's literally worse than my wife. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh my god, babe. <laughs> All right, y'all, first morning practice is about to start. Oh, waking up. What do we have for breakfast? Hard-boiled eggs in a pack. Hunter, you hate me for this, but man, that's all. Awesome. Little, that's lunch. P3 portable protein pack. And then some pickles in a bag Dude, for it's cold. a snack. I told you, bro. I mean, you got enough clothes on. Hard boiled oh. eggs. It's yeah, cold. I want, I want to have it like this. Hard boiled eggs. I'm going to tell you a real quick story about them. They sound great. They got a lot of cholesterol in them. It's that initial smell right when you open them up. They don't smell very good. <laughs> they do not. They smell like hard, rotten eggs. Right when you open them up, it's like. Yeah. And then you got to check the date on these suckers, and it's like. I'm gonna go ahead and eat them. Get about halfway through that yolk, you're good. <laughs> that first little smell. <laughs> Used by April 20th. No, April May. 25th. Is it 25th? This is says April 25th. This is May the 22nd. And when you smell that, you're like, is this 2020 or 2022? <laughs> Are these two years old? <laughs> That's right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. It's cold outside. We got some iced coffee. <laughs> this is the story of our week so far. We'll see. No, it's, uh, part of it, man. You got it. We slid over here. Looks pretty good weather wise. It does. It's going to be 70 degrees. Gosh dang. 30 by <laughs> trip. You <laughs> fell and almost died. And I almost tripped right there. Let's get my new. <laughs> That's some work to do. Go up a little bit. That's good. You're good. Drive. 704, man. Brody dropping us off. It's time to go bass fishing. All right, y'all, so we've been practicing about an hour now, and, and just checking in, it is uh, really just been looking around, not fishing a whole ton. Uh, just a little bit here and there, and so far I've not got a bite. Now, I've seen some fish on four fish and sonar. Uh, I've been looking more, this is main lake right here, fishing, you know, in pockets. Just really trying to get a vibe for what is going down. Right, right now the water temperature on the main lake is 49.5. In the pockets it looked like it was about 52 so things are warming up and now they're not going to be coming up there spawning but there should be a lot of fish that are actually pulling up trying to get up there um, and, and get close to the bank anyway so water clarity is anywhere from a foot to about three feet from what i've seen um we're gonna go run around a little bit and sort of see if we can't find a group up with something so we'll check back in here in a second we gotta go run down the lake a little bit Okay, so one thing that I'm really always, uh, <clears throat> uh, all right, so right now we're taking our time. It's sunny, it's flat, calm, conditions aren't great. It's supposed to get nicer 
this afternoon there's a little bit of some rough stuff on this dock water's 49 so a lot of these fish will you know as the water warms up they're going to slide in some of these pockets and whatnot but i feel like they're going to be a little bit lethargic it was really pretty cold off the rip could be a cranking tournament i think it's going to jig maybe a jig a jerk bait crank bait somebody might catch them on a vibrating jig or something like that spinner bait but um we'll sort of see i mean this right here just slow and slow i do not like going slow anytime but practice is hard for me i mean practice you have to do it a little bit just because you have to make sure you're not missing out on something so i'll take my time and dissect a couple little areas that look pretty good or just to make sure i'm not missing out on something but one thing you always gonna I always uh, the viewers out there big things so i'm pushing these docks are actually about 10 feet deep so i'm making sure to give it a slack line because what will happen is if you if you actually tighten up on it and it hasn't always fall fall to the bottom a lot of these those fish are suspended i do like that direct fall though otherwise if you don't give them enough line it'll it'll pendulum back and it's not real natural I just a lot of these fish i've caught on docks like this will actually bite it on the fall so that's why See if we can't get a bite. Actually, this has no hook on it too, so that way I don't get hung up. But if I get a, we'll see. I don't know. See if we can get a bite. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so just slid into a pocket. This is a big, big dock right here. Good flat spawning pocket behind me. I'm just throwing a jig i don't uh now these docks aren't super deep i don't try to like let my bait go to the bottom um on the docks you know on, on like sort of like community docks or marina docks are super deep typically i don't i feel like these fish are gonna be 15 foot 12 foot and shallower so you know if these docks were 30 40 feet then they'd be more suspended fish if that was sort of like what i was keen on but these docks are a little bit shallower so i'm actually picking up a jig pitching around letting it fall get down there some of these fish will start to suspend on a lot of these places um, and then they'll slide down this one particular rock had a couple little brush piles around it so I wanted to see if I could drag that jig and maybe get a bite but so far no dice no dice let's try it Let's try, let's go look for some bass elsewhere. All right, so fishing boat docks, no dice so far. Picking up a little shad wrap. Number five, shad wrap's always a killer in the springtime. Oh, I knew better. But, felt good. We're going down these banks. It's pointless. Let's ride. Pretty pointless. All right, y'all. So my SD card got full, but we did get the first bite of the day. Pretty good one. Choked. Shatter wrap deep. Chunky man. Chunky fish. Little point. Exactly what you want to see, man. Beautiful Grand Lake bass. I bet you it's a actually close to a four pounder. Beautiful fish. All right, let's get back after it. We want to get locked into a zone. Um, I, I wanted to really run around and sort of. Crappie. Alright y'all. We got us turtle. We gotta get a dang. Come on, bub. 
Hold up here for a second. Hold up, buddy. Cranking down this bank. I'm coming out. He's pretty dang lethargic. He's like, dude, I'm not trying to. There you go, bro. He is not having that deal. All right. Oh, come on, little sucker. So I just switched to a little number five shad wrap crawdad. And just a really typical transition bank. And uh, got a bite pretty quick. So it's not, uh, it wasn't scoreable, but it's definite. It wasn't over two pounds. It has to be over two pounds this week. But basically, what a transition bank for a lot of people that don't understand that. And, and it's the thing, it took me a little while to understand it too. But, it, but, it, but it's like, or just. Okay, so we're back. We swapped out. Swapped out the old battery. It's having a little bit of an issue. Basically, what I was saying was transition banks are everything this time of year. Your water's a little bit stained right here in the back of the creek. You can see it's more like a shelfy rock right up this way, and it sort of flattens out down that way. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Or this is always a good place for those fish to ultimately use as a highway. And that's just this is typically for whatever reason areas like irregularities in bass fishing are everything that's really what it comes down to and that's always just a pretty high percentage place for where the contours tuck in closer to the bank and start to come out a little bit oh i just had it might have been a rock but i had one little bite so we're down through here and see if we can't get another bite <laughs> oh man call me an alabama rig there you go he's got three four swim baits and a grub there you go son <laughs> i'm gonna put that in dc's boat just to mess with him i'll tell you what they're biting <laughs> oh man so i've hooked it i've hooked a turtle a 14 incher and an alabama rig since i've been throwing this number five shad wrap <laughs> that's crazy you never know what you're gonna catch for real there's a good one cool cool that's a good one oh he come off I'm talking about a freaking big God. Holy thump that jig. Okay. Up there on a little bit of brush. God. I mean, a five pounder. Jeez. Okay. Up there, not much water. How about that? That was a dang good, that was a good one. That was a positive pounder. Jeez. Yeah, I got one right here. Oh, got me a little. Hey, another five, number five shad wrap fish. All right, we're getting in around to some. We're getting around to some. There we go. Not the, hey. not sort of little. That's going to be the deal. I mean, these are littles, but. Well, add that to the list of the stuff I've caught a rock. Okay. Daylight till dark, it's the only way we do it. And the bass got the best of us. We're about to post this dang sunset photo, and you know what a sunset photo means on the Instagram, man. It means, it means I didn't have anything else to post. <laughs> so we'll regroup, get back after them. I did hook a couple big ones, lost one, caught one. It is what it is. Uh, I, I think I ran a total of 82 miles a day, and it was gas at $4 a gallon. 
It's a lot of money. <laughs> so we eliminated a lot of water, so that's a good thing. We eliminated a lot of water, but uh, we gotta regroup and get back out here and see if we can't figure it out tomorrow. I'll call you here. What is this? Rancho Viejo. Rancho Viejo? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's where that's a spot. Grand Lake, Grove, Grove, Oklahoma. There ain't no food here. I don't, what do y'all eat? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. No, that, 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 that little spot downtown was actually not bad. For, uh, for pizza? We want to go pizza. Yeah. So probably. Now, Adrian, he's very picky about his pizza because he is from, like, Jersey. From that Jersey, New York, Philadelphia area. They, they, they cook some good pizza. They make some good pizza. So, but so far we've only had chips, so we can't really tell you. I would say the sauces. I will tell you this. Average. You know what a bad Mexican restaurant is? What is bad? It's when there's not any Mexican people working there. <laughs> One time, it was. <laughs> I'm not playing. Listen, I ate at. It was in uh, Monroe, Louisiana. Okay, right outside of Monroe. Or whatever free fish. This place was all fancy fancy. I walked in there and there was not one Latino person in there. It was all white. Trash. And Trash. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but you for sure no, not to turn around. <laughs> Here for him first. The Mexican restaurant got to be authentic. <laughs> they do have to. Yeah, it's like a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> you do not go to an empty Chinese restaurant. Like a Chinese buffet? If it's empty, don't go. Yeah, don't go. Now, nah, if that thing's popping, do if it's popping, go. The guys are inside, they're over here talking. I'm gonna show them the winning bait. Just found it. All right, y'all. Yeah. You guys want another winning bait? Is it, is it, is it a bait of 200 weight? Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's the winning bait. Hey, you caught that. Oh, wait, you caught hey, that? I caught that. Hey. Listen, hold on. Double Colorado, double Willow. Hey, Some grub in the center. Yeah, Listen, somebody I, has got complicated with this. They changed these out. Look at that. Yeah, they, put, they literally put double Colorados on him, and then they put double Willows on him, and they have... Th th two different kinds of swim baits, and then yeah, I told Jacob, they got a grub. I told Jacob, they got they, a they were tick. They were and not like getting big bite. They or got something. a, a ca uh, Callen, Callen's grub, Kalen's. They got a uh, what? Big bite. That's a big bite. That's a big bite, and that's a kitek. They're it's too complicated. I no. don't know what they're doing. And, and they, well, well, that's because they weren't biting. They were That's biting. the winning bait. This this is this is the buffet because he didn't know what to put on there because they weren't biting none of them. So he tried all of them. You know what I'm saying? They ain't biting on Grand Lake. They ain't even biting this. Listen to me. I'm gonna tell y'all something. Real quick. Oh. Let me see this thing. <laughs> Look at that thing, man. Listen, everybody, oh, <laughs> hey, that's freaking. Hey, that's a big. Hey, right everybody's now, so drill. worried about line size. Just look at it. Like, oh man, I can't get them to bite 15. They won't bite 15. Bull crap. Yeah, there's literally wires attached to these. <laughs> you don't know, I gotta throw 17, I gotta throw 15 instead of 18 or 20 pounds. Man, throw 20 nonstop for real. All right, so I'll put y'all on some game. There you go. We're going to bed and we'll see y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. Welcome, good morning. We are, uh, Getting ready day two of practice. It's going to get nasty out there today. 100% chance of rain, up to about an inch of rain or so, inch or so of rain. Um, yeah. So winds gonna blow. I don't know how how how. Hopefully, it doesn't get too bad. Where we can get out, stay out there and practice, but there's a chance. Um, I don't know. The good thing is ultimately we saw the whole lake yesterday. <laughs> I guess that's the good thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Good. 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 Good.
you're excited when the gas is below four dollars a gallon. I'm a good chance this is probably the cheapest gas in America right now. Brody, show them. Three fifty six. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're winning today. <laughs> Already. Dude. So we, I would say national average probably somewhere like four ten or something like that. We just saved fifteen bucks right there. Fifteen bucks right off the rippy this morning. That's facts though. That's real. That's real. Easy. What'd you pay? Three fifty nine. Oh, I know. It's already. It's starting to be a good day. It's starting off good. Right. Oh, Jazz, I just got one. So you're a bit my buzz bait. <laughs> Big and two. Gosh, it went Just slow crawl on him. Water temp is I'll tell you in a second here. 53-3. 53-3. First buzz bait by the season. <laughs> Probably like a spinner water. We're gonna get inch of rain, but there's definitely some bass back up in here on this flat. I've seen two blow up. I mean, we're in no water at all. You can tell, like on my trolling motor, there's like zero water in here, but there is a couple lay downs. And let's see if we can get another bite. <clears throat> Looks so pretty. Oh, there he is. Cool. cool. Got two, got two lights on a buzz bait. It's gonna be 30 degrees the first day of tournament. <laughs> hey, it makes me feel better anyway. Crawl on him. Ah, we get smashed on a buzz bait today. <laughs> there was another one that just blew up right there. There's one right there. Three bikes on buzz bait. Missed that one. Went in doubt. You gotta throw it down. Three bites. On the bottom, son. Be on that bottom. We in no water. Zero. Okay. One thing, quick heads up. Ooh. I mean, they're in no water too. They blew up right there, that way. We gotta roll up out of here. Mm. And then on the shallow flats, it's starting to warm up now. We're gonna have a cold night in between now and the turn, but I don't know, man. It's so hard because you just don't know exactly how everything's gonna play out. Oh, I do love a buzz bait, but I have got myself in trouble throwing a buzz bait too. <laughs> Plenty of times. I just got to looking last night at that chart and I was like, hmm. 
Gosh, I got it hooked and begging. Boys, we got a big and golly, these suckers are big. Unbelievable. Golly. Mean. Mean. Pretty fish, man. Pretty fish. Little OG tiny action. Probably close to a four pounder. Let her just go right there. See you later. Heck yeah. All right, y'all. So challenge to you guys. I've seen a lot of great anglers out here picking things up out of the water. When you get that right there, it's a, it's a mess, all right? Put it in your boat, put it in the trash in your boat. Let's try to clean these places up. Obviously, we break off some lures from time to time and sometimes things get out of the boat. So let's try to do our part in picking things up, man. We only have so many lakes in the country, so we gotta take care of them. Another piece of line. Let's see. This one I got around the troll motor prop. Uh, uh, uh. We got all that now. Ooh. Throw that in the trash. Drum. Oh, drum, 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 drum. Drum roll, please. But you're a drum. Thanks, bro. For the false sense of hope. Choked it. Sorry, y'all. Missed him. Get him up in here. Choked that plug. Choked. Okay. Two and three quarter probably. Alright. Let me unhook him. Real lightly there. Good quality fish, man. Let's let go. Thank you very much for biting. Sorry I didn't have the camera on. I mean don't see. Fishing line, man. All right, we're gonna put these cameras up. It's gonna get a little nasty here, but overall, not a bad start to practice day number two. Had about four or five scoreable bites. We need to figure out a different area, but lots of change in snapper rain. Let's go find some, some more, though. We gotta go find a couple more. Check back soon. Alright y'all, that is the end of practice, two days on this on this place right here, I am cold, I am really cold, ain't no doubt, that wind got going, a uh, little bit of water in the face, spraying over the boat, but hey, they did bite today though, they did, you didn't get to see all of it, but you got to see a little bit of it, so, they did bite pretty good, I think I ended up, it was a pretty good day, but, I don't know. I feel like I've seen the majority of this lake. Um, I've, stopped, I've, I've seen a lot. Not all of it, but uh, hopefully we can sort of, we've seen enough where we can make adjustments on the fly in the tournament. That is always the goal of springtime bass fishing. You can't get locked into one thing. You can't get locked into one area, one pattern. You really have to adjust throughout, especially throughout the week you know when you have a long tournament or you have multi-day tournaments you have to adjust so that's why we ran around like we did we might even run around some more on some new water that we didn't get to see so who knows
We're gonna slide on back, see what the boys are doing. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> hey, this one's got fire alarm. Hey, this is what it is, man. <laughs> we got a. Yeah, we got. We hey, got no help. We put best bass fisherman on planet Earth in the kitchen. No, hey, <laughs> hey, this is what happens. Hey, when you got a grill, grill we outside. Got a grill. Let me tell you something. World's worst ever are hamburgers for doing that crap. One hundred percent greasy. Cholesterol. Uh, sausage is worse than that. Cholesterol filled hamburgers. Welcome to it. That is. Right. I'm going to put these suckers in here. Pick them up. Well, I did a start. I thought you turned that skin off. Turn them off. Why? Because you can make them way more efficient. Man. Let me just do my deal. Try to keep that heat in there. Up. All right, there we go. Don't be hating. We don't have Mark here. It's okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We are just getting tackle rigged up this morning. Hung out with the boys last night. We actually slid over to the casino. Two of us won. One didn't. I'm not going to say who. So. We just had some fun. Um, it was our night off, so um, it's always an accomplishment to, to qualify for Redcrest and uh, to get to this point. I mean, only 40 guys make it, so um, anyway, we got some work to do. Got to some rods. We're going to head to Tulsa, um, and we'll see you guys there. My dream to be something like this, you know what I mean? To just be traveling, because I used to rodeo. Really? So, oh yeah, so I used to travel all over, Dang. and it's just the other side of it. The same, it is. same kind Absolutely of thing, bro. Right. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Alright guys, we stopped to get some gas. Really cool to meet a fellow fisherman and also subscribe to the channel. You know, it's always great to meet people from all over the country. That is something that we were very blessed be able to do fishing brings a lot of us together a lot of you all that watch this really uh, we're still a really small channel but it, it's just really cool to meet a lot of y'all you know and that's uh we don't take that for granted so if you do see me out getting gas or anything else make sure to stop and say hi i really appreciate it i really we really do both all of us do bc myself mark adrian and brody we all really appreciate that for sure you see this you got to read the stickers for the pumps, because you're dirty. 